Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, I am going to be doing another monthly reviews video. If you guys are new here, I pretty much use the products for the entire month and review it very organically. Sometimes I do paid partnerships, but they know the rule. I have to test it out for the whole month. Otherwise I cannot review it. And if it doesn't pass, then it doesn't even end up in the video. I mean, there are no sponsorships for this month's video, but the categories are going to be the same. I'm still going to be doing jewelry, some beauty. So that means skincare and makeup. I also have some home products and I also have some wellness products. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Okay, starting with the usual category, we are going to go through my favorite Majuri products of the month. So before I dive into the products, if you guys are new to Majuri, just a reminder that I do have a partnership with them. So I have 10% off all of their products if this is your first time ordering. So you can get the discount immediately by clicking the link down below. For the people who are not new to Majuri, but are curious of what I own from Majuri, you can check out my website, lisaway.com slash Majuri, and you can see everything I own from Majuri. And if you are more curious, I have so many videos on the Majuri products. So I have all of these collection ones and also I have some tutorials including how to build your own jewelry collection and also another video on two-toned and how to style two-toned, which is something I actually released this month and this will all make a lot of sense when I go through this month's favorites. And also another video on styling rings. This month's favorite, like I mentioned, is a lot of what I used in the two-tone styling video because I wanted to share with you guys my personal tips on how I style gold and silver jewelry. It doesn't mean that the product has to be sterling silver and solid gold. It just means the color. So I kind of teach you guys like how to style even like white gold with yellow gold and gold vermeil, solid gold, etc. You guys can check that out. I have a few examples here and these are some of the favorite products that I have from this month. I absolutely love this earring combination, which I'm going to share with you guys but pretty much the first earring that I've been loving is the collaboration by Sarah Harris if you guys have been following me for a while now then you will know that I love every collaboration that they have ever done and I think I pretty much own everything that they've collaborated on. This one is no different. It is gold vermeil with some sterling silver at the bottom. It is already two-tone. It is such a hack because you're already styling a two-tone product by buying a two-tone product. The other two items are basically these square hollow earrings. I got them in two different sizes, one in sterling silver and one in gold vermeil. So this makes a really cute stack and I'm gonna show you guys right now. If you guys can tell, this just makes such a cute stack. So we have gold and silver here, then we have the silver and then we have the gold again. And then I kept it within the same shape-ish. So this just looks very cohesive. A lot of you guys were talking about you wanting to see how to style gold and silver jewelry together so it doesn't look like a accident and it looks intentional. So that's what a lot of what I talk about in the two-toned video. So make sure you check that out. The other two products that I've been loving are these two rings right here. This is the exact same ring. I just got one in sterling silver and one in gold vermeil. As you guys can see, not only am I really obsessed with styling gold and silver, but also the square, very like edgy shapes right now, I'm just very into. The last product from Madrid that I wanna share with you guys that I am obsessed with is actually a collaboration that they did with the home brand Claude. So this is what it looks like and it just looks so good when you just put your jewelry in there and it just like lies on your counter like this is what the shape looks like but this is such a beautiful piece of collaboration because this is just such great quality. I just feel like this is such a great piece of stone and a very neutral piece for your home and such a great way to display your jewelry especially the ones where you're constantly wearing and you can just kind of like take it off and put it in this little section let me show you actually I have a couple more rings I feel like when it comes to jewelry organization you can have your like very organized like spots and stuff but this is one of those things where you can just come home and just like throw your products in especially if you have rings I just feel like this is such a great decor and storage piece so I absolutely love this collection it is just so cute and I just put it over there behind me when I'm not filming this video and yeah that's what it usually looks like okay the next category that I want to go into is 
skincare. Starting from what I would use in terms of cleansing. So the first product I want to share with you guys is the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. This is the cleansing powder. This is what it looks like. And basically, I actually kind of want to show you guys the powder. What this is, before I show you, it's kind of like the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant where it's a powder form. And when you pour it onto your hand, you can just add a little bit of water and it lathers basically into soap. The really good thing about this type of face wash is twofold. Number one, it very microly exfoliates your face very gently. It does it so gently that you are safe to use this every single day. Whereas like for more harsh exfoliants, you don't exfoliate your face every day or else your face would just be like so stripped of everything all the time and just kind of like, you could be like a naked mole rat. That's how I feel if you like over exfoliate, you know? With these like more micro and like more gentle exfoliants, they're safe for every single day if you wanna wash it. And my favorite, favorite, favorite part of why I love these products is that they are so good for traveling because technically it ain't liquid. If I wanted to bring this entire damn bottle with me on my carry-on, I can because they're gonna be like, that's over the limit. And I'm gonna be like, okay, well show me the liquid cause it ain't liquid. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the powder because if you guys are used to the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant, this powder is a little bit more fine. Are you gonna come out or what's happening? I don't know if you guys can tell, like I only poured a little, but you can already tell that this powder is even more fine. This one I feel like is even more gentler. So if you guys are, you know, finding that the daily micro exfoliant is a little bit harsh on your skin or you prefer that it's a little bit more gentle, this one is extremely, extremely gentle. I also really like the smell of this. I feel like it has like a, your typical Amore Pacific smell. I don't know. I don't know if that explanation makes sense, but I feel like Amore Pacific has a very distinctive smell and I love it. You guys will know this about how I feel about their treatment cleansing oil. It is one of my favorite holy grail products, even their moisturizer. If you guys are not a fan of scented products, then this might not be for you. But for my friends who are into scented products like I am, then this is really good. I love the scent. I don't know, it just like so gently cleanses my face. I actually have used this all month, but I'm trying to not use it as often because I wanna save the rest of it for when I go traveling because I don't know how long I'm gonna travel for and I just don't wanna be busted for liquids again. So I just wanna be able to carry this with with me but that's one of my favorite products this month so make sure you check it out the next product is another face wash this one is the one by drunk elephant i feel like they sent me the entire drunk elephant collection to be honest with you and i have never tried drunk elephant products so this was my first exposure to drunk elephant so far it's been really good the only thing i don't like about it is that it's not available at sephora so i don't know i just i prefer if i can buy things at sephora but if you are canadian you can buy this at shoppers drug mart so the cleanser i want to review you is their I hope I'm reading this correctly their best or is it best day okay whatever best number nine jelly cleanser this is what it looks like this cleanser is I personally find it extremely good for a morning cleanser where you use a Foreo or like a Clarisonic if you guys still have that even though they went bankrupt. But basically, if you guys also use a tool like me, I use a Foreo. So therefore, I prefer cleansers that can lather, especially when I use my Foreo because the ones that do not lather, Dermalogica, they have this ultra calm cleansing. It's just so calm that it doesn't lather and I feel like it's fine if I just wash with my hands but when I try to use the product on my Foreo it is so awkward like I don't know it's just like weird I feel like with my Foreo I prefer ones that lather and this one is perfect for it I also tested out this product for you guys as a makeup remover because if you guys have followed me a long time on my YouTube channel you will know I am very particular about how I remove my makeup I always use a cleansing balm or cleansing oil followed by either my cellar water or another face wash like this but I prefer to have my cleansing oil cleansing balm and then use you know one of those two items or whatever but last year when I was in Europe I ran out of my cleansing oil very quickly so my friend told me that certain face washes actually dupes as like a facial I guess like makeup remover which is still wild to me I feel like I still feel more comfortable doing a double cleanse. So even if I do use the face wash as a makeup remover, I will still want 
to, if I can, use like a micellar water after that or something like that. I've been finding throughout the past year some cleansers that are really, really good to also remove your makeup for. So one of them is the First Aid Beauty Ultra. Honestly, I forgot the name. The First Aid Beauty Face Wash. That one works really well to also remove your makeup. And one of my top favorite ones is the Kiehl's one. There's a Kiehl's one. It's an orange bottle. I will also leave the information over here. But that one is so so good for removing your makeup and washing your face as like kind of like a morning and night face wash if you will this one i did try to use it as a makeup remover just to see like if it's good personally i only like it for morning i feel like for removing makeup it's not that it's bad i feel like it's not as effective as the other two cleansers i have mentioned but also the biggest thing that actually turns me off from using it as a makeup remover is the fact that whenever I use it, it kind of like burns my eyes, like when I'm trying to do my eye makeup area. So that's the reason why personally, like it is such a great morning, like for your face wash. And I stand by that. But if you are someone who is very practical and you're like, I just want one cleanser for morning and night, then I would go with the other two that I mentioned. If you guys are like me, I have multiple face washes spread out because sometimes I wash my face by the sink. So I'll have one over there. And then sometimes I wash my face in the shower in the morning. So then I have one in there. So for me, I'm a little bit more flexible and I'm also so gung ho about my makeup removing routine. And I prefer my oils and my butters and stuff for that reason. It doesn't really bother me that much, but I just wanted to throw that out there because I know some of you guys are, you know, you guys are like, I just want one product that does everything. So just wanted to keep that in mind if you guys wanted this product for both uses. The next two products that I got from Drunk Elephant, I actually did review more products, but these are the ones I reviewed more extensively. The other two products I did review, I just didn't feel comfortable reviewing it into this video because I didn't feel like I used it long enough. But the two that I'm very comfortable in saying that I like are the eye cream. First of all, this eye cream. I don't know what it is about this eye cream. I really, really like it. I think it also has, I wanna say vitamin C or something of that sort. I do recognize that it has done wonders for my eyes at night. I also really like the texture of this and it also smooths out my lines and it also brightens it a little bit. It's not super like tacky. It's a very well-rounded texture, especially for people even like if you're new to eye cream and stuff, I feel like this could also be a very good introductory eye cream. I also like the packaging because I don't know, it's just like very cute and just very light actually although it is a little bit big so maybe I don't like that part the next product that I like from drunk elephant is this la la retro whip cream and I've been using this for a nighttime cream it is extremely moisturizing it is one of those products like I've mentioned before on my review videos I categorize my moisturizers creams and even like face washes as you guys can tell I'm like morning night like whatever this is a good really dry time like wintry like heavy duty night cream I personally wouldn't use this during the day because during the day if you guys are like me I like to put on makeup in the mornings so this is a little too heavy for me in the daytime especially if I'm going to be putting on more products on top. So this I use strictly for night just because of how thick it is and I will show you guys. I really like this, okay, sorry. I don't wanna say I really like it. I wanna say I'm actually very conflicted about this packaging because I love that this pump works like this. So what you do is you pump it out like this. You can see how thick it is already. I'm gonna just rub it off and show you guys. This is a very thick texture. How I classify my thick creams is this. If you try to blend it, it takes longer for the cream to become transparent. And you can also just like feel it on your skin. So this is something that I know is like a thick cream and it is good for like winter time and stuff. It's a very neutral cream and it's also unscented, I believe. Yeah, it's unscented. So I feel like it is good for all skin types. It's a good introductory one as well. The only thing I don't like about it is that the packaging is unnecessarily large, but I guess a lot of night creams are this thick, maybe this one's just a little bit taller and thicker, but because of the way this pump is structured, I actually love it so much. I don't like when the cream is just out and about being exposed. I don't know, you guys know that I'm a germaphobe. So this gives me the psychological comfort that the cream that I'm not using, I am not touching. So whereas like the other ones, you're just like 
swabbing like the edges of your finger or like touching the other parts of I don't know this one gives me and my germophobiness just a lot of mental comfort so I really like this but I wanted to share that and put that out there in case anyone else is a germaphobe. That is pretty much for skincare. I'm gonna move on to beauty products. So the first beauty product I am gonna talk about is actually a dub between skin. It is actually a dub between makeup and skincare. It's the Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. So this is the mini version. I actually got a set of all the minis from Fresh. So I have all the scents and I think it was from their holiday collection. So I got all the scents with it. Sorry, scents and colors, whatever. But the one that I have particularly been loving this month is... You know what, I'm gonna leave it on the side because as you guys can see, I used it so much this month that it's honestly rubbed off. So I will have it on the side for you. This is the combination of the lip product I am wearing today. I'm gonna go up close a little bit. This combination is the combination of the Benefit Eyebrow Pencil, which this hack I shared on Instagram and on TikTok. It is genuinely a hack that I've been taking with me every single day. I feel like there's so many like TikTok trends and Instagram trends or whatever with makeup. And it's like, do you actually even use that? This one, I genuinely do. I literally carry an eyebrow pencil with me everywhere because it is also my lip liner. So this entire month, my entire lip combo, besides my other like nighttime lip combo, but my morning or like usual daytime lip combo this month has been the eyebrow pencil along with this lip balm. Not only do I love the color of this, like I'm almost done this lipstick, but not only do I freaking love the color of this lipstick, sorry it looks gross because like I said, I've been freaking using it all month. The color combo I am absolutely in love with, but also, also, because it's also a lip balm, I don't need to put gloss on top of it and my lips are hydrated AF. This combo for me has just been so elite. I know this is also a mini, but I rarely, rarely, rarely finish lipsticks and I am almost done this. So that says a lot. This product is not new, but this color is new and it's honestly for me like life changing. So this entire month's vlogs, if you guys have seen me, I am most likely wearing this lip combo. The other product that I have actually been testing a lot this month, and this is more for my nighttime look, is the Charlotte Tilbury Lucky Lips. I actually promised you guys Guys, from last month's video that I was going to be testing it this month because I got this product and I was too shy to review it last time because it was the first day I wore it. I filmed it for that video, but I think some people liked it. I actually can't remember, but I've been wearing it this month and I really like it so far. The color I've been really liking especially is Rose Hope. This one is so pretty and it's definitely more on the matte side. So if you guys are looking for like a dark night look, this one is one of my favorites and definitely check it out. The hair product of the month that I wanted to review this one won by a margin and once I open this you will see what I mean because I have used it so much this month so the one that I'm reviewing is the Jonathan Vaness instant recovery serum and this is for the hair so if you guys don't know who Jonathan Vaness is they're someone from Queer Eye if you guys watch Queer Eye Jonathan Vaness is from Queer Eye they are my literal favorite person in the entire show. He has made the show for me. There's so many scenes in that show where I've literally rewinded just to watch their moments. And also I'm just getting used to referring them by their proper pronouns because I was saying he for like so long. And then I think he like came out and, you know, identified himself as they and them. So I'm trying to, I don't know, just like habitually change that in my head right now. But anyway, they came out with an entire hairline and I've only reviewed reviewed this product so far and so far I absolutely love it. So what this has been doing for me all month, if you guys can see, I am literally almost done. For me, I think this serum is supposed to go in your hair as like, you know, just this recovery serum to hydrate or whatever. But for me, it has been working as everything for me. I put it on on damp hair to, I think it does like UV protection or something like that. It also like protects you from like heat or whatever. So it's my heat protectant. But when I was in Miami this month, I discovered that it is so good for frizzy hair. So when I was in Miami, my hair just was so, so, so frizzy because I have natural curls. It's just like, 
I don't know it just looked wild so this one was the only thing that tamed it and also for some reason when I had my natural waves by putting on the product it just livened it up a little bit this has been my holy grail all, all, all month the only thing that I do have complaints about is that over time when it sits the oil kind of separates so I don't know why it does that but like you can't see it now maybe because I've been like shaking it around but sometimes when it's just like sitting for a while and you open it like you can kind of see the oil separating so you just have to kind of like I don't know just like shake it around a little bit that's the only thing I don't really like about the product but otherwise he's done such a great job it is cruelty free it is vegan it is just everything that you know we are looking for in this day and age and it has done wonders for my hair so highly recommend okay the next product and the last product I want to recommend to you guys is a wellness product so if you guys didn't know I have been on a huge health and wellness journey if you guys don't know you can find a lot of this information on my podcast but basically I've been practicing my five minute journal and gratitude and whatever all of that juicy stuff you know in the mornings but my five minute journal is something that I've been using every single morning I actually reviewed it a few months ago if you guys remember that from my previous review so by the same company as the founders of the five minute journal intelligent change also gifted me this deck called the mindful affirmations so I want to talk about this for a hot second but before I talk about it actually I also have a discount with them so you can get 10% off by using my code I will leave it here for you guys make sure you use it so you can also get yourself a five minute journal and you can also get yourself a mindful affirmation deck but basically what the affirmation deck is it literally comes with a deck of cards like this and each deck of cards will give you an affirmation this deck right here is some of the ones that I need for myself the most so I put it aside and I will read you some of my favorite my first one is I'm getting healthier and more joyful in every way every day I love my life I love everything and everyone in it I let go of everything and everyone that doesn't serve me in a positive way as I breathe slowly and deeply I feel more relaxed and energized if you guys don't know what affirmations are or if you guys are kind of like unfamiliar with this concept basically if you guys don't know the way our brain works is that a lot of you know what our reality is is honestly a manifestation of our own thoughts so imagine if every single day your thoughts to yourself are like oh I'm so stressed out I'm so like ugly I'm so fat or like I hate everyone or like everyone in my life sucks if these are kind of the things that go on in your head and sometimes these happen like very subconsciously a lot of the times that energy will continue to like feed itself it's like why do you hate everybody because you always say that in your head so what happens is affirmations if you guys actually do the research into it what it does is that it's supposed to rewire the way your brain thinks so that's why a lot of the stuff like I pulled out these ones are like the most important to me I left some in here because some of the other ones I know that I'm pretty good at already and I don't need to rewire but some of these other ones I'm like I need to emphasize this and like make sure that this is the talk that my brain is giving itself so even like okay here like financial abundance comes to me easily and effortlessly if you are someone who believes that you know it is really hard to make money you know whatever it is not saying that it's not true true like I think that you know if you believe that that's usually what the reality is so if you constantly tell yourself like financial abundance comes easily and effortlessly and rewiring that thinking then a lot of the times you know these are the things that hopefully over time and over changing your mindset and stuff and through these affirmations over time maybe you'll be able to see a change in your own reality this is something that I personally believe in and if you guys didn't know I am quite spiritual this is also a part of spirituality but even people who are not into spirituality also do believe in affirmations so definitely check it out I highly 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 recommend the five minute journal make sure you check out my other video where I talk about it as well and I reviewed it but I think it's super helpful for the everyday if you guys didn't know my Instagram TikTok, and YouTube focuses a lot more on I guess like helping you feel better and liking these like products to help you feel better on the outside but my podcast is really to help you and work on yourself on the inside the other announcement that I have to make on the podcast is that I'm actually gonna go solo so 
I'm very excited, but a little bit nervous. I'm excited to hear you guys' feedback. That announcement isn't gonna come until next week, but I guess if you guys are on here, you guys can hear it a little first. But basically the direction of the podcast is going to be changed into more wellness and just improving yourself. And I wanna do a lot more like self-work and inner work. So that way all of my platforms hopefully will have this holistic approach. It's like, let's feel good on the outside, you know, with like clothes and makeup. And like, I want you to like feel confident, but then also like working on on the outside, but also working on us from what we can work on on the inside. But anyway, with that being said, that is pretty much the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.